All right, folks, we're back. I'm gonna see what this odd seed pulls up. Is it a fucking rock? Empty shell, what? <laughs> That's what I am. <laughs> empty, <laughs> empty shell. What I once was. That's just the kind of man I used to be. Not anymore. I'm 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 a witch. <laughs> I'm a monkey now. <laughs> yes. What? What odd choices? <laughs> <laughs> a witch monkey. <laughs> witches. Hey, uh, could you could you draw me a, a green pig wearing a witch's hat in the in the desert for me? Here you go. Oh, thanks for this uh, ham sandwich. Hey, a tool. What's up? <laughs> no, nah, I'm okay. I don't, I don't need to catch any more. Like, no. <laughs> you know, Eric, Eric said over the break, and this joke broke me. Yeah. <laughs> Eric goes, because we were watching back through the, through the footage to make sure like everything was okay. Yeah. And uh, and of course, every time we say, and we're back. Yeah, I say every. It's like it's like our it's like our intro at this point. Yeah. And Eric goes, you know, one of these times we should really be front. And I racked my brain for a good five minutes. <laughs> it, it took longer than it really should have. And it finally hit me like, oh! Like like a like a punch like a freight train. Like a freight train. Like a trait frame. But uh but yeah. But that that's ass. It's become bang rang now. Yeah. They don't I, know. They don't. They don't get that. No. You know what? You know what's something we like. We were. We were supposed to keep talking about. But we didn't. The anime tropes thing. We hate. Like. Oh like, right. So yeah. yours was. I. I. I both hate and love the one where it's like so squishy. What is this? It's a. It's a freaking boob. It's a freaking boob. <laughs> it's like how. How do you. How do. You, how does this happen so many times? You know. You know. Oh my god. I'm. I'm, I'm gonna. This might, might be cheating. I know this. There's one that is, it isn't a thing exclusive to anime. I just hate it in general. It's the one where like characters don't fucking communicate to each other when they're uh, when they're upset. So like, there's, a, there's like a pairing you really want to happen and they really want it to happen, but like a misunderstanding makes it so that like one person like, oh, you did this. Like, no, I didn't. But like, I heard from this. I'm like, no. Yeah, yeah. It just irritates the hell out of me. You know, this is the. <laughs> This is this is one that's considering I just said that like I, I'm gushing about how much I love JoJo. Uh, this one. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. What? You could tuddle the cat. Oh. I didn't know that. Oh, that's, that's awesome. That's a that's fantastic. Uh, but this is this is kind of a self call out now, considering I was just talking about how much I love JoJo. Shouting attack names. Okay, yeah. That's I always cool. found that like, if you're like especially if you're sneaking up on someone. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'll give I'll give like a pa I give a pass to like an like shows where it's like it's magic based. So you have to like say spell names to activate them. Mm -hmm. Those get a free pass because like how how the hell is he gonna do it? <laughs> but if it's like a if you just have, you're just wielding a sword, <laughs> I'll also give a give a pass to One Punch Man because they make jokes about it. Mm. Also, like there's. You know, this, this is Where a he's good like, one. serious style, serious sneeze, and he blows up Jupiter. <laughs> the self insert. The best part is uh, you think I'm joking. You know about the self insert protagonist? Yeah. It's like the ones where, like. Like Skune? They're like, well, they're, like, they're all powerful. <laughs> well, everyone wants to be Skune. <laughs> well, yeah. Okay, so there's two versions of that. There's the one where it's like, oh, he's all powerful, he does whatever. He... It's like a Mary Sue, but not that. Yeah. Like, he's, like, perfect, everyone likes him. And then there's the one in the... The... Don't hurt yourself, sweetie. I'm hurting myself, Joe. What's the... Harem protagonist, where it's, like, he's got 50 girls... He has, like, no personality, but, like, 50 girls with, like, all various different personalities and, like, backgrounds all want to, like, date him and presumably fuck him, but, you know, that's... That's neither here nor there. It's everywhere. Funny enough, that's that I was just talking about what a harem anime, the friggin' the monster Musume. Cherim anime. Cherim anime. I would pay to see that fully animated. You know what? Okay, mm. this one, this one I agree with. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just looking at a list of like anime tropes. Uh, weak female characters. Specifically. That's not even an anime thing. That's just a thing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's just that's just a thing people do, and it's like okay. But like. Specifically, like, uh, I mean, granted, this is this this also falls under the self-insert character and the all-powerful character thing. 
sort of out of line. Uh, but the, the thing I, like, hated most about that show, like, and I'm one of the few people who actually semi-likes the show. Uh, and, uh, what, what, what am I trying to hide? I, I, I have... I bought his sword. You bought, dude. You almost bought both of his swords. I, I did, but but then then the the, the reason kicked in. <laughs> the reason. Uh, but one of the things I hated most that like, like a lot of people say, you know, when when you get to arc two, there's one big thing that everyone hates where they're like, why did we need that? And that's that's the cousin thing. Yeah, that was weird. Uh, but I didn't the, much care for that. The job. other thing that like not a lot of people talk about is that like. Asuna in Arc 1 was such a badass female, like, character. She was. She was a great character. And then in Arc 2, they made her a damsel in distress. They made her here. fucking Princess Peach. And I'm like, come on, guys. You know, fun fact, that was actually... So, I was watching a video talking about how, like, uh... So, the reason that, uh... Daisy hadn't been in many Mario games over the years, mm -hmm. and the, the Nintendo stated that apparently the reason she hasn't been in very many Mario games, at least from, like... Like, her introduction in, like, the ni the 1990s all the way to, like, Mario Party and, like, Mario stuff like that. Yeah. Where the reason she wasn't in many Mario games is because she was, like, quote-unquote stronger than, than Peach. And she's, like, you know, more feisty and more of a tomboy. Mm -hmm. So she's able to, like, keep herself from being kidnapped. So huh. that's the reason she hadn't been in a game in a while. Huh. It's like, respect, Daisy. Yeah. Resp I, I, I had mentioned I like Daisy better than I like Peach. See, I'm, I'm a bit biased because I use Peach in Smash. Yeah. I mean, I know, granted, I'm more I know of a you, Rosalina. I know but, you like Rosalina. Uh, you know what, uh, another one that, that could, that, that, I'm just, I'm just, this is, this is me just criticizing SAO. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, uh. This is just, I guess, an overall genre of anime mm -hmm. that is getting kind of tired at this point. Mm. You know about it, is Isekais? Yeah. Uh, like, other Getting hit by a fucking bus and then you end up in a fair of anime. Uh, <laughs> and there's... I want to get... Okay, can I just say that, like, I hope, like, there's warnings around those anime that, like, note, getting hit by a bus will not send you into another alternate dimension. Well, have you ever heard the... I think it's... I think it's Fooly Cooly. Have you ever heard the description for that show? I have not. I know the Omni Viewer did, like, a series reviewing it. It's... It's the funniest, like... I, I think we watched it once in Anime Club. I mean, it's, it's, like, a, it's like a classic anime. Uh... And, uh... I just remember, like, reading the description online. I'm like... <laughs> uh, yeah, I think this is it. <coughs> so basically, I God, I hope this is the the same anime. I believe, like, I was reading the Netflix description. It's like when a boy is walking down a road, and then a girl, a, a mysterious girl on a motorcycle, drives by and whacks him in the head with a baseball bat. He gets a bump on his head, and a robot comes <laughs> out. Yeah, I remember because we watched this in Anime Club. Yeah, I'm like at the library. Fuck. Yeah, like what the what the actual fuck? Oh, but yeah, the, the Isekai stuff is is kind of getting played out and everything. Like, don't get me wrong, there are great. Like, I think when it came, you know, when it first started, it was new and fresh. But yeah. now, like every anime, anime is an Isekai, and it's like okay, okay, we. <coughs> to the point where, like, you know, I'm, I'm just reciting the Trash Taste podcast, but they were talking about on there how, like, they they now, like, skip past, like, crucial, like, backstory and everything, mm -hmm. because they're like, oh, you already know this. Oh. But it's like, okay, that, you know, that's just lazy storytelling. It, like, they, they basically go in with the assumption that, like... <coughs> Oh, they, they've, they already know what this type of anime is, so we don't have to explain it. Yeah, I don't it, much it, care for that. It's like the, if you don't know, I'm not going to tell you. Yeah, seriously, <laughs> I don't like that. Oh, uh, oh, there goes Daffodil. You know, granted, like, if you really think about it, one of my favorite movies is technically an isekai. What's that? Spirited Away. I guess. It, it's basically like the... the the basic definition of it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, I don't know, different. But, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I guess you're kind of right. You know, uh, on the other side of things, <laughs> speaking though, of isekai, though, I have been meaning yeah. to watch Konosuba. 
Yeah. Because I love... I don't, I just, I've heard it's really funny. Right? I ha- I heard that, too. I've, I've seen the memes. It looks funny. I know there was, like... It's the one with, like, the orange-haired girl or something, right? No, so like the the the, the guy, there's the main character who's the Isekai guy, and then there's Aqua, the uh, useless, Aqua, right. useless okay. water goddess. There's Darkness, who's like a paladin, who's a masochist. Like she literally gets off to people hitting her, and then um, and then Megumin, who is my personal favorite, where uh, she uh, she's a she's a explosion mage. Mm. I'm assuming that's her. Which one? That one? That's Megaman? Is it? The one with the witch hat? I don't know, I'm asking you. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, yes, the one with the witch hat is Megaman. Okay. Yeah. Oh, could you not see on my screen? I was just making... I, I didn't know which one you were pointing at. <laughs> it looked like you were pointing at Darkness and Megaman, so I'm like, mm. I, I don't, I'm not going to lie to you, Joe. <laughs> I don't want to... I'd be like, oh yeah, the blonde is Megaman. Fuck. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> uh... You know, on the other hand, uh, on the other side of things, though, uh, on, on, on the topic of not explaining things at all, there is also a thing where, like, sometimes anime characters can over-explain stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, and, and, and don't get me wrong, I'm a sucker for a good monologue, mm-hmm. but there's, like, sometimes where they're, like, doing that in the middle of a fight. Yeah. And it's, like... Like, 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 mid-punch, they'll, like, break out into their backstory, or get, <laughs> get hit with a flashback, where they're like, Oh, I remember how to do this move. That yeah, I remember, <laughs> Kirito did that at the end of, like, season one, and I'm like... <laughs> this is just a trashy decision. Yeah, I'm just like, why isn't he hitting him? <laughs> like, he's just standing there, I'm like, oh. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a fucking RPG, where he's like, it's like, well, I have to wait my turn to attack. <laughs> <laughs> I can't just hit him. That'd be too easy. <laughs> you know, I'm starting to realize now why people hate us. <laughs> that actually reminds me. I was, re- I was thinking about this recently, and so it's like, so it's like, like hard to. It's almost hard to explain. I was like, God damn it, the fucking the notification is blocking my view. There it is. <laughs> anyway, so like, I really, I really enjoy. I guess I want to say the modern anime art style, if you know what I mean. Like just the technical way that a lot of modern anime look, like the, like the just the texture, like the texture of the skin. The, it really uh, depends on the anime. It anime. does. Here's the thing, because like certain, it, 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 that sounds like, like, it's I, like that sounds like it's an umbrella statement, but there is differences. Like My Hero Academia looks different from from Fooly Cooly, which looks different from One Punch Man. It's all the, it's like there is subtle differences, but I mean like the sort the sort of style that's like S A O. Um, Konosuba, Rosario plus Vampire, Monster Musume. I might just be listening listening off harem animes. <laughs> <laughs> I might have a type joke. Yeah, people like, I say it was in a... I'm like, no, it no, is. No, it, it kind of <laughs> is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't market itself that way, but No, it no, it is, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, but, uh... It's like, uh, there's see, actually a funny story with, um... What was it called? Uh... Miracle on 34th Street. It came out in June. Is that a harem? <laughs> no, 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 no. The marketing thing reminded me of this. Like, so Miracle on 34th Street came out in the middle of June. So, because back in the day, like, oh yeah, no, like, like the movie theaters weren't as mainstream to where like people would like you know go out and uh, you know they go out the, they w- they wouldn't go out in the cold to go watch a movie. So like so they're like we gotta we gotta put this out in the summer or else no one's gonna watch it. But that means yeah, let's like, put a Christmas movie out in the summer. Well yeah, but so what happened is on the posters, it does not look like a Christmas movie. Oh, really? It is it's called so it has the title like Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street in big letters and the whole thing is fucking yellow. <laughs> it's all yellow with the like the main like the main two love interests like the like the mom and the and the. Well, also, the man. Isn't that a black and white movie? No, it wasn't. It was in color. I've watched it recently. I actually watched it for the first time recently. It was pretty good. Very one of those frustrating movies, you know, where it's like uh, like this guy's lying, but no one believes the guy telling the truth. I'm like, fuck you, dark wizard. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so then uh, what was it? Oh, Just so yeah, and you have thirty seconds to finish that. Oh, yeah, no, I'm almost done. But yeah, then in the middle of the poster, it had the little girl in Santa Claus, like, but it, it, he's not wearing the suit. He's not wearing the Santa Claus suit. He's wearing yeah. like, his normal street clothes. So it just looks like an old man. So it's one of those things where it's like you go in, like, oh, it's a rom com, which it technically is. Not a rom com. It's a romantic. It's a it's a romantic drama. Nah, 
It's a good movie. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> but yeah, so you go in expecting like, oh, you know, it's a normal movie. And it's like that, bam, Christmas movie. It's like, ah, oh, I got, I got, I got hoodlumped. <laughs> Hoodlum, hood, hood swinked, hood, hoodwinked. Like I got hoodwinked. Bam, end of the episode. <laughs> end it. Kill it, Joe, please. Put me. <laughs>